guys, welcome back to the Acne channel. It's your girl Elizabeth, Pretty Progress 23. I wanted to talk about stress acne and how your skin can literally go from 0 to 100. I'm going to get right into it. Two weeks ago, I started my full-time job. Um, it's my first full-time job as an English high school teacher and I was really, really excited about the temps, but at the same time, I wasn't really prepared to kind of, you know, dive in the deep end and juggle three things at the same time. I am a part-time tutor teacher, a full-time high school teacher, and also part-time vlogging because I want to be there for you guys. I'm not letting this go. Like, Pretty Progress 23 has become a part of me and a part of my life. There's no way in the world I was going to let that go. So yeah, I had to juggle all three jobs because teaching is my passion too. Like, I love doing everything. My first year out of teaching, um, I started school when it was completely like sweltering hot. There is no aircon in my room, the kids get me really rowdy so I'm constantly screaming, I'm constantly like stressed out and then as soon as school finishes at 3pm I go home and I start planning for my kids. So it's like this endless cycle of doing something and something and, and um, it's just a vicious cycle where I have no time for myself and then that means that when you don't have time you start eating really horribly you don't have enough sleep and your whole body is out of whack so um, it was a hard time for me and I started noticing I started getting all these little pimples on my cheeks and on my forehead because I was getting sweaty and it was like the makeup was clogging my pores and stuff like that I kind of freaked out um, having starting my new job and then having kids call me names and stuff like that they said bro she has so many speed bumps on her face and honestly my heart broke um, I posted this on pretty progress and you guys like on my Instagram and you guys have been absolutely supportive so I really want to thank you guys for that as well I had to remind myself not to let students negative thoughts kind of get to me so while that all was going on my skin was flaring up Bad diet, lack of sleep, stressing the hell out, and then the worst part is I changed skincare products. Um, I thought that my skincare products weren't working because of all the acne, but it was actually because of my stress hormones and, you know, flaring up, um, that I started buying a whole lot of things. I started using hydrocortisone, I started using ben Benzac face wash, I started using different oils and all it was all over the shop honestly like I splurged online um, and it all came to my house and I was like yep I'm gonna try this 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 and that and all it did was it made my skin worse so let's start off with my number one product that actually worsened my skin basically my skin was a golden gay time all over my cheeks so it's not as bad as you like Honestly, this is really awesome. My skin has flattened down pretty well, but like rewind, I don't know, like four weeks ago. Yeah, rewind four weeks ago, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, my skin was bumpy as a strawberry, like a pizza. This side was also bad and there were humongous cystic pimples. So whenever it's like an internal problem, like when you're stressing, your gut is failing, you usually get severe cystic acne and that's like especially when it's around the jawline, it's hormonal, stress levels, etc. and humid air. Um, the list is endless. Yeah, so I was I stepped back and I was like, look, I shouldn't be using all these harsh chemicals and steroids onto my skin. I need to really reflect on what's going in my life that's making me break out. And then I wrote in my diary what was causing this complete mess on my face. And I realized that I wasn't having any time to myself. I wasn't slowing down and going back to what works. Not only was I, I made it my life goal to sleep before 12 a.m., but I also made sure that I started cleaning up my diet again. And I'm, I'm honestly, for me personally, getting rid of dairy has helped me so much. I don't get rid of it completely. I still have it here and there. I don't want to restrict my body to the point where I feel sad about my life. Um, yeah, so I started sleeping better. I started eating cleaner. And I also went back to the skincare that I knew that worked. What I used was the Banish Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. Now this is divine. So as you can see, I'm almost done with my mask. And it's beautiful. It smells great. I'm gonna restock my pumpkin mask very soon. But what I do is I put my little finger in and then I put it on spots, just little spots as a spot treatment on the big zits. Yeah, that's what I do. And after putting on for like 
10 to 15 minutes, I'll wipe it off with tissue or I'll wash my face. But I have put the pumpkin mask overnight and I find that that's okay if it's spot treatment. But if you're putting it all over your face, you don't want to sleep in the mask. It's going to get really messy and dirty and um, it's not meant to be on your face for more than 15 minutes. Definitely look into the Banish Pumpkin Mask because it has natural AHA enzymes in it. And AHA means it's like a glycolic acid that kind of sheds the outer dead layer of your skin. So which means your skin will, will like... It will increase that quick skin cell turnover. Um, that means your skin can heal better and it can like kind of breathe. And the other two products that I love using from Banish is my two babies. We have the Vitamin C Banish Cream. I absolutely adore this. I use this every single day. This is what it looks like. This is my new tub, by the way. Love, love, love this. It helps repair and hydrate the skin. And I top everything up with my Vitamin C Beauty Alexa. This is also great. I spritz it all over my face and it does wonders for my skin. Yeah, so I stuck with what works and I just had to be patient. I had to tell myself, look, these skincare products have worked for you. You know that you need to sleep better and eat better and you'll be okay. So I constantly had to have loud affirmations where I know that I'm going to heal. Um, I'm trying to keep really, really strong and I know that I'm going to get through this. So I'm going to be documenting my journey. like like I am right now and then one day I'm gonna look back and I'm gonna be like hey you did this you went through it again and again and again so yeah this is what my skin looks like oh, I can't say my skin's not gonna heal this is horrible because the more you stress the more you're raising those cortisone levels and you want to lower them so your body can really really relax you know I don't know I'm sick right now and my voice is disgusting <laughs> but I'm getting there and I know that my skin will heal along with my body. I have complete faith in what I'm doing and um, yeah, slow down, take it easy and really, really relax. Whenever you're going through a setback, know that this will pass. I've gone through so many setbacks. My skin was a disaster three weeks ago and now my skin looks fresher, cleaner, flatter, smoother. It's ridiculous. I hope you know that you are beautiful and that acne does not define you. If you're stressing, ease it down a little bit, take it easy, write down what is important to you and prioritize that. Um, and sometimes don't juggle too many things in your life. So my solution is I took a day, a few days, you know, off work. I minimized my teaching hours at my part-time job and yeah, I make sure that I prioritize my well-being. If anything, my tips are to smile, keep shining, stick to the skincare products that you love and you know that work, um, and make sure you're sleeping enough. That's all I have for today. I'm sending you all my love and light. See you later.